what is a weed? A plant whose virtues have not yet been discovered. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that back in 1878. And the same could be said about waste. In Western cities, we haven't yet found the best uses for our waste, and we produce way too much of it. Although there's definitely a place for waste in our society in terms of being wild and untamable, um, our overproduction of waste with its many environmental repercussions also offers us many opportunities to reframe, to add purpose, to redesign and reveal um, it as a resource. I hope that you'll find such ideas and inspiration in the presentations we have for you here tonight. So just to quickly tell you about how the Sustainable Cities Roundtables work. Basically, we have a series of short presentations. We have approximately 10 speakers here tonight um, who will each speak for three minutes each. In those three minutes, they'll communicate the essence of their projects, which all relate to the concept of waste in terms of sustainability. Um, to keep them to time, we have an egg timer, which is over here on the throne. And we also have our lovely sitar player, Dennis Fellin who will very gently start playing his music <laughs> to um, escort people from the stage. If people don't leave, the volume will be increased. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much to Dennis for playing this evening. Um, after the short presentations, we'll be having a very short workshop, about 15 minutes, in which we'd really like to engage the entirety of the audience. Um, so, one of the sheets you would have been handed out, that refers to what we'll be doing later. We really encourage you to stay, and that's when we get you to talk to each other and to get your input into the topic of waste. Finally, we'll be rounding up the evening with a series with <coughs> drinking and networking, networking with drinking. And um, we also have some artwork on display, which is out in the foyer. So we're very um, lucky to have some lovely artists um, work here who are all using um, art from waste, turning into aesthetics. And so that's from, it's on the bottom of the, <laughs> that is Tony Adams, Mary Louise Edwards, and Lorraine Connolly Norby. Finally, the, um, the drinks we've got for you to put, uh, imbibe later on are from Elgo Estate, who actually uses wind energy in the production of their vineyard as well. So we're very happy to have them here this evening um, for the wine. <laughs>